doing safety and reliability analysis with SysML in Katia Magic. Here is the way to do the risk summary table. So here we see have dynamic risk summary table, which uh, based on occurrence and severity shows the number of the uh, instances of the F FMEA items in the cells. So here we have FMEA table with all the uh, rows and uh, uh, columns, as you can see here. And here we specify severity, as you see, and occurrence, uh, including link to the re requirements uh, to mitigate uh, severity, including the uh, system under analysis. Uh, and then here we have the same FMEA table, just uh, without showing those extra columns, you know, just to see the simplicity here. Uh, for example, we can take, uh, let's say, severity 4, occurrence 4, now it's 4, and switch to like severity 3, right, uh, severity, let's say, 3, now severity 3, occurrence 4, severity 3, three occurrence 4, now if we want uh, this one, severity 3, occurrence, again, let's do 4, now we'll see here 2, again, uh, refresh, this refresh can be automated, you know, if you like closing, opening something, you know, like uh, you will get automatic refresh. Here now we see the two. So this table was made um, uh, with the structured expressions uh, and it's using legends to color code. So here we have uh, display legends uh, option. Display. And uh, if we will move uh, down. This legend, this legend is color coding, you know, without any hard code specification, for example, low risk, double click, and as you can see here, everything in uh, severity one, but uh, columns only occurrence one, two, and three, occurrence one, two, and three, severity one will be colored green. So as you can see here, legend color codes that green. So if the red uh, is like this uh, array and this array is colored red and then black is that. And we can hide the legend uh, here just by selecting here and then hide like that. <coughs> also how this table is made uh, is actually a uh, table which is uh, derived property base so columns are created right click you see specificate i can go to the edit derived property so for example occurrence <coughs> and you can see that it's calculating size right uh, size uh, operation the input is um, filter where is the find right find for fmea items uh, with the element occurrence equal one right uh, and then because this is the one right and then we have here predicate uh, where we have uh, body equals uh, argument uh, and then body equals uh, coming from the severity right uh, and uh, coming from the block uh, documentation So here is the solution for the dynamic risks table inside of SysML modeling environment uh, uh, it enchanting safety and reliability analysis in SysML. Please check the link for the more details and sample project.